I was brought on board this project both as an archaeologist but also as somebody with a kind of an artistic leaning so that I could um, perhaps have a different angle on recording the project. The Palace Boy vessel is an Iron Age artefact that was discovered in Tor Bog in West Mead in the year 2000 um, as part of Borden Mona harvesting. Um, uh, the archaeological wetland unit would have excavated it. Um, it's um, a vessel in that it, it's a wooden container, um, not necessarily a boat, but um, some, some people still think that might be a possibility. Um, so it, it was excavated and it's conserved, partially conserved now in the National Museum storage facility in Swords. Um, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a replica of it through um, using Iron Age replica tools and using a master woodworker to kind of shed some light on the experience of woodcraft in the Iron Age and what challenges may have people may have come up come up against using, let's say, for example, fresh wood, um, and to learn about how difficult it was, how long it took, things like that, but also to get an insight into the experience of both making it and um, observing it. For other people to observe one of these things being made um, is also a part of it. It's on, it's it's on, on, the, on the, the bottom now. Yeah, no, because there's no, more than one theory as to what it was used for, um, like some people think it was used to heat water and there was evidence from some grit in it that um, um, the hot rock technology kind of technique like Fulloch de Fia, um, they would have heated rocks in a fire and then heated water in, a, in different containers um, in prehistory. Um, and this may have been used for that as well. It may have been a multifunctional object as well. One thing we know for certain is that it's a very special object. Um, so one archaeologist um, that we are, we've been, we've been in, in communication with thinks it may still have been a, a river-going vessel, um, either to be towed behind another vessel or somebody might have waded in, in a marsh and towed it behind them. Um, so we want to test this theory by putting some weight in it, in water, and perhaps put a person in it with a paddle to see if it possibly could be operated as a canoe. I um, trained as an archaeologist and I worked as an archaeologist for 14 years, but I always had an interest in the arts and I was a photographer kind of in the background. So I went, um, I, I always wanted to go to art college. So I went back to art college to do a master's in art in the Crawford College of Art and Design. And I suppose um, when I came back into archaeology in this research project capacity, um, I not only brought my archaeological experience, but I brought my kind of open-minded, cross-disciplinary, artistic approach. Not only was I recording the project and I had a responsibility to document it photographically and video ways, um, I was also thinking of unusual ways to document the project. So, I, for example, I had a sound art event here in the museum with the vessel where I invited uh, three experimental percussionists to interact with the vessel, which wouldn't be a typical thing to do for an archaeology project. Um, and I'm also thinking of using some of the sounds of the making to create a kind of a, a background uh, soundtrack to um, a spoken word piece by the, the woodworker. He, uh, we're reducing his diary into a kind of a spoken word um, kind of um, account of the making and then we're going to put the sounds of the making behind it. So that kind of thing. It's kind of an, I suppose I'm trying to find alternative ways to document the project that aren't um, typical.